So here is a nice captive bred one. Aye. And I didn't even know they can jump like that. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today we're gonna be doing super exciting unboxing. Here I got some tiger beetles, actually six tiger beetles and two green link spiders and one fisher fishing spider and I'm super excited about the fishing spider not only because it was a freebie from Swift Inverts thank you so much Kelly if you guys need suggestions on where to order spiders true spiders and tarantulas don't go anywhere else these guys these guys Kelly is awesome and so not just because it was a freebie because, but it's also because I've been wanting it for so long and this is a really cool looking one it's kind of like a white gray and black so let's get started so here they are look at all the colors so so cool if you guys are not, are not familiar with tiger beetles these are the fastest land insects in the world they can run so fast that they actually lose their sight lose like a vision so they have to stop from time to time to basically refocus so when they see a prey they just bolt so fast that they lose the sight of the prey at some point and they have to stop and basically readjust their vision and i am hoping to start a colony of these beauties because usually they get they are from um, they are basically wild caught so i am hoping to start a colony of these and you know keep them in a hobby captive bread so i asked my friend in czech republic who keeps some of the asian species and he helped me with the enclosure so i built this enclosure based on his and kelly's suggestions so they have some places to hide a lot of places to hide they like to basically also dig so they have a little bit of a deeper substrate and um, it's a little bit damped on one side a little bit more dry on the other a lot of leaf litter i saw them in the nature a bunch of times too already they like to hide under cork bark so i got a bunch of cork barks here for them and basically yeah that's about it so let's unbox them they can also fly but they only fly when they feel threatened so here's one I need to get my camera for this and you know what I'm gonna use this little guy for a sec So now that I got some cool pictures and I think I got some footage too, well, let's see if we can unbox these guys. Let's see how they react. So there is the first one. Oh, there is two. All right, kitties. All right. Oh wait, you guys don't see anything huh? if I do it this way. I have to do it this way. There you go. First, they're finding their new home. Oh, this is like a super cool picture opportunity. And a footage opportunity. Okay, so a little bit on a little bit more on tiger beetles. So these guys like to dig too. Oh nice. So that's why I have a deep substrate and they're a larva. They kinda like end lions. End lion larva. There's another one. Another one. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, so that must be everyone. I'll put it down here so they can get out. Let's get these bad boys out of the tissue. So yeah, tiger beetles. Come on, Missy. There you go. And that's everyone. Nice. Looks like the substrate is really very similar to mine. All right, guys. So that's it. That's it for tiger beetles. Super, super, super exciting. This is the most exciting, most most exciting addition to Spider Cafe in a really long time. I'm gonna let them chill for now and I'll probably feed them probably this weekend at some point or maybe even maybe even sooner all right let's unbox the spiders so greenling spiders they actually are local to our area they live oh nice crickets he's always so good they are local to our area but I don't see them very often and I always feel kind of bad taking anything out of nature if I'm... Well, actually I don't ever take anything out of nature, but from time to time I get wild caught stuff. But I only get it uh, so I can breed it. If I'm not gonna try to breed it, I'm not gonna even get it. I'm not gonna bother with wild caught stuff because there is a lot of uh, captive bred uh, spiders and bugs, so I don't really need it. But these, as I said, we see them in the nature. They can actually spit venom. Can you believe that? How cool is that? And uh, but I just want to kind of observe them at home. So here is a nice captive bred one. Oi! And I didn't even know they can jump like that. But apparently they can. Boom! One spider caught. Do I have you? Yeah, I have you. Okay. But let me see how the other one looks. Yeah, it's kind of the same size. And this should be the fish here. Okay. So let's see. Okay, cool. There you go. Alright. The spider's in. It's trying to get out, but we're not gonna let it. Alright, stretch your legs in there, buddy. Unbox the second uh, green links. Now that I know that they can jump, I'm not gonna be any more careful. As you guys can see, oh, I'm just joking. I'm I'm aware of it. And yeah, this one's a nice size too. Wow, very cool. It's hiding in there. Look at that. They were supposed to be like a half an inch. And I guess that's correct. They are half an inch. Wow, so cool. Look at this green. Uh, 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 uh. So I cupped him on our green carpet, green links. Let's see, is it already in? No, it's still down there. Mm. Let's see, let's see. There is the little spider. See if we can nudge it in there like this. Uh, is it in? Looks like it. Yeah, it's in. Yeah, and there it is. So yeah, I can't believe it. They're such a runners. Oh my gosh, they're jumpers. That's so crazy. All right, let's unbox the final one, and that's gonna be my fishing spider. So I built something like this for it. It does have a little, like a big water dish in there, but they don't necessarily need it. They do like it humid and damp, but they don't really need to be close to a body of water. These guys are super fast. And faster, I wanna say, than the green links. So I have to be super, I have to be on my toes. Let me see how big it is. Okay, so it's kind of the same size as the green links. 
Let's see. Ah, oh, so sweet. Don't jump on me, please. Ay, 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 of course it's jumping. Alright, so another, another catch up situation. These guys are super fast. Alright, good. There he is. Or she, I keep saying he because Spider in Czech and I'm Czech is a male, so I'm just so used to it. But yeah, here he is, or she, beautiful fishing spider, super fast, very exciting. Yeah, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna try to like drop some prey on the water and watch him get it. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just gonna let the spider come out on its own. Boom. Job done. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can actually get it out of there. No? I'm gonna take my little stick and push it out of there so it can explore its home. There you go. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted for once. Perfect. All right, we got a fisher, ladies and gentlemen. We got a fisher. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It got pretty crazy. Everybody's escaping on me, but we got everybody in their enclosures. If you guys did like it, hit the like button, notifications button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys like my tank top, check us out at spidercafe.shop. This is Raiders of the Lost Ark modified to be Spider Cafe T-shirt. I put David Bowie as a substitute for Harrison Ford. Both really cool, huh? But here we do spiders. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Ciao.